Hi, Jackie from Sister Ship Training here. Today I'm going to show you how to find your position by doubling the angle off your bow. I'm going to show you on the whiteboard. There's a few lines involved, but the practical part of it is really quite simple. So stick with it, and at the end I'll give you some more hints and tips on finding your position. For this example, our course is straight up, and we're doing three, four, seven degrees compass. Near our port bow, there's a lighthouse. When we're in this position, we note that the lighthouse is 40 degrees from our bow to the lighthouse, that's that angle of 40 degrees. And we measure that that's 307 degrees compass and note the time at 9.30. So now we want to look for when that angle doubles. So from our bow to our lighthouse, we're looking for when that's 80 degrees. And when we're in that point, we know our compass is 267 and the time at 10.30. So we've been travelling an hour from point A to point B. And we see that distance equals speed times time. In this example, we'll do five knots. And we've been doing that for an hour. So our distance is five nautical miles from point A at 9.30 to point B at 10.30. So how does this help us? Well, we're using the isosceles triangle, which means that these two sides are the same length. From point A to B, the distance is five nautical miles. So from the lighthouse to B, that range, i.e. that distance, is also going to be five nautical miles. So we found our position. So that's a nice, simple plot now. At point B, our position, our position summary, the lighthouse bears at 267 degrees compass and it's at a range of 5 nautical miles. So could we convert any compass bearings to true to enable us to plot them on our chart, which is always true work. Measure the range and we know our position at 10.30. What you can try, just quickly and simply on board, is you know your bow's at zero and a midship's 90. So if you have a marker, like a lighthouse, at 45 degrees, note down the time and the speed you're going. And when it's at 90 degrees, note down the time again. Use your di speed, distance, time to calculate the distance and you can approximate your position or double check it. So there you have it, doubling the angle off your bow. Go over to our website, sistershiptraining.com. There's an article there and pictures and a step-by-step -step process description of how to do it. The important thing to remember is you shouldn't use this technique if you're avoiding a danger. The nature of this process means you are moving forward, probably and possibly close to that danger before you confirm where you are. There are different techniques to finding your position that are safer if you are avoiding a danger. It isn't really finite precise due to the yawing of your vessel, but with a bit of practice it can be quite close. So, thanks for joining me today. Have a go, it's actually a lot simpler than it looks, and I wish you safe sailing.